This is a clip from Embezzlement. Check the description for the full episode. Speaking of dying, M- Mandy, how'd you die? I mean, I, I didn't die. Or yeah. maybe I did. I guess this requires a bit more context I'll, to get to the central. Yeah, maybe. I'll be real. If, if I lived half the wild shit that you've lived, and there's a point in time wherever I very well could have died, I would be questioning at this point. This is not the closest I've gotten directly to dying, but this is like, this could have been very bad. Okay. So I, I don't know. I can't remember the exact year it was. This was over a decade ago now. The only time point I have for it was that the Elder Scrolls Oblivion was hot. Oblivion was out, so maybe like 2000, between 2006 and like 8? Yeah, yeah that, something that feels like right. That. Yeah, so, um, and I know that because I, this was a scout camp. I don't remember which, which Boy Scout camp it was. I was in the Boy Scouts. We, we were at either Camp Bob Harden or it was somewhere in either North Carolina or Virginia or s- somewhere in that little corner. And when you have a scout camp, you have like your troop that goes there. But then you have, like, troops from several different regions come and, like, they descend upon the same campsite for that week so you can earn your merit badges. Oh, gotcha. And I actually looked this up because it's really funny, but I didn't want to dox them, but it's okay. The troop across from us was, um, they were called Troop 501st. (laughs) And the game Battlefront 2 had also come out, like, fairly recently, a few years before. And the, the fucking clone troopers in that were Troop 501st. And so we were like... Oh, ha, ha, ha. It's like the clone troopers are next to us. The thing is, they were actually the most serious fucking Boy Scout troop I've encountered in my entire life. And I guess something happened to them because I looked online about them because I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't say the troop number. But it got dissolved and it was reformed in like 2014 or something. What? What? Yeah, the 2014 one is like a new uh, troop 501st. So the first one either disbanded or something happened to it. I tried to look at their old website and it got like, um, it's on like, you can't even, it's like deleted. So it's just like, oh, we're Troop 501. I clicked on it and it's like, this website's not available. And the new one is, oh, we're like, we're Troop 501st, like the Stars War. Oh boy. And so, so something happened. Well, they, they're the new one, I guess, but no, they're not, they're not the original ones we encountered. And, um, I know we knew they were so hard because we had like a canoeing race at one point, like day two or something where we were like, just it's a little canoeing race. We were just laughing around, like bumping each other. One, the kid had like dropped his canoe, his uh, paddle in like the first 10 seconds of the race. So we weren't doing too hot. <laughs> so we dedicated our run to fucking up five Oh first like race. And so we like, we kept bumping their boat and laughing and like, we're like making the bend to come back towards the finish line, probably like seventh place by now. And one of their scoutmasters fucking runs out from the reeds into the water, like up Whoa. to his knees, Whoa. and he starts screaming at them, You failed! You failed! You failed! Whoa! And he raises his hat down, oh. and he's Bloody. screaming how they failed. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> like, Whoa! Whoa! The but back fuck? then, of course, we didn't, looking back, it was, Whoa! But at the time, we all started laughing. Because they're like, Whoa. Ha ha ha, we owned 501st. <laughs> they failed. Because, oh, they oh, failed. Yes. They failed. <laughs> Exactly. Because our troop was a, um, our troop was a fucking mess. Sometimes you'll have like a central, sometimes like they'll do Boy Scouts through your school. It, there's all sorts of little linchpins that it comes through. Ours was from our, uh, our church group and it was a, a casserole of mental illness oh my and God. just weird kids. And I'm including myself. Mental yeah, illness. I, I know. The, re- I, the reason I, I remember. Like, why am I getting deja yeah. vu from this? The reason I remember it's Oblivion was because we had this one kid named Benny, and he would just. Oblivion had become his life. And when I say that, I mean, like at night, we would hear him screeching out in the woods. And he'd Ooh. walk in by the campfire and just be like, hey, where were you at? I was making sacrifices to Shio Gorath. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy shit! The cat population had, in that area drastically went down. Yeah, and we had a uh, we had two scoutmasters there. One was um quiet psychopath. The other one was literally Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. Like he ha- he had like the mustache. He had the glasses. He was dead on Ned Flanders. And so he'd be saying things like, "All right, you know, we're gonna we're gonna talk about the Lord tonight." And Ben would be like, you mean Lord Shia Gorath? Like, oh. no, Ben, we're not talking about him now. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> and so we took great pride in fucking up constantly, but still being able to style on 501st because they never like came to their campsite individually. They'd always come in like a unit, like all 30 of them or whatever would all come in a straight line into their camp. You can never catch one of them alone. And so we'd be like, wow, Benny just beat them in the relay race. They must be real bad over there. <laughs> but the, um, the central character of this is, uh, I probably should use a different name. I'll call him, I'll call him Jimmy. Jimmy had always been quite slow. <clears throat> okay. Like he, okay. the kind where it's like, um, you know, immediately like something's up with him by how he talks and just the, the glassy look in his eyes. Like he'd be like, Hey, how you doing? I want to talk about Dragon Ball or something like that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> And around this, he was at this point one of the older scouts, and he was starting to go through puberty. And what happened with this oh. is that he was always just like kind of he was going through like a goth phase, which was also strange. Jimmy the goth. Yeah, but he was like I, I don't, something. He had some sort of condition, but he was <laughs> he was also goth. Okay, which is oh, a lot. My. Which is a lot already. <laughs> Now, now put that in like a scout uniform, like me. <laughs> yeah, so just yeah, like it was sort of real. a yeah, Dude, it was like a lot. <laughs> but it started kind of harmlessly when um, how do you, like most of the warning signs were taken as him just being kind of a weirdo. I, I, I really don't like how you're describing this. Well, he'd be like in, in church or something, and he'd be like, "Hey, like I have the deepest secrets in my my cursed journal," and it was like, "What?" You know, no. I think it was like a Death Note journal or what something like that. Fuck? <laughs> and people be like, "Oh, haha, that's me." Be like, "Yeah, the secrets are so dark. They talk about the voices." I'm like, ah, oh, that's that's funny, Jimmy. And he go, uh. <laughs> and he go like, "You want you want to look in my journal?" He talked about how scary the journal was, but he would show that thing to fucking like anybody. He wanted and to so alert like, people with the the, the uh, how scary it might yeah. be. What the fuck? Yes, and and so I of course looked in the journal one time, and it was like a billion dead stick figures, like people with devil horns, like shanking <sighs> each other with like pitchforks. <laughs> it's just like just like edgy stuff, but yeah, kind of like, from a slower yeah, kids, lane. <laughs> kids always do shit like that. Like it's whatever. Oh yeah, but it Fucking, was. Yeah, I probably did that. You know exactly. So it's what he was not the first like edgelord I had met if anything it was it was really fucking funny at the time because he'd just be like oh sh do you know about Super Saiyans I'm like no nah, I don't watch Dragon Ball really because well I'm going to reach Super Sa Saiyan level 5000 I'm like what <laughs> and I remember that one specifically because I we asked him like what's Super Saiyan level 5000 and he goes it gives you the power of the devil and he would never elaborate on that Wait, does that mean? Does that, wait, does that mean the devil can beat Goku? I don't know. He, he would just say that, like it gives you the power of the devil. But he would tell us these stories about like the voices oh in his God. head, and like these demons visiting him at, him at night and stuff. And we thought they were fucking hilarious, so we started like I was turning them into like City of Heroes quests. Like it's an MMO, you can make yeah, your missions exactly. in it. Yeah, yeah, so I started making like quest lines based on the dreams he'd tell me about. He'd be like, Jimmy needs you to go into the sewers and like defeat this dragon and shit. But the thing is, during scout camp, it was getting, he was getting different. Mm. Because he was, when you go to scout camp, you don't have like a, um, well, this one at least had like provided tents. I, I can't remember if we told the story about when we pushed Benny out in the, the lake once. I don't think so. Okay. Well, they, they're like a wooden kind of like pallet platform with like a tent on top yeah. of it, but it's like, it's a super thick and sturdy pallet. We had once taken uh, the Oblivion kid and like lifted his tent while he was sleeping and like just pushed it out into the local pond <laughs> and it like floated. But that, anyways, <laughs> so you pair up two scouts per tent and I was, I want to say a slightly older than Jimmy. I was not too far away from an age and he, I was like, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll bunk with you, Jimmy. He's like, okay, because I was... It, I kind of felt responsible for him in a weird way. I don't yeah. know how to put it just cause like, Oh, it's like, he, it's like, I know people get weirded out by him, but it's like, he's, he's harmless. Yeah. So I thought, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, oh, so, oh yeah. God. because like I had 
gone to a um like sw- a camp the year before and heard him like losing his mind during a thunderstorm and fright. So my god, oh, like, oh, no. he's he's fine. But when I first like went to bed, and like because you put your um your sleeping bag on top of, like these two cots in the uh, tent, yeah. I'm like starting to drift off to sleep, and then I hear next to me. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I look over, I'm like, maybe he's dreaming, and he's not dreaming. His eyes are completely open, and he's staring at the ceiling, just whispering to himself. Oh my Is, God. Are, they, are the words illegible? <laughs> no, it was, there was Stop hearing quiet. your name. Repeated. Yeah, it was loud. No, As it was too quiet. <laughs> it was too It was too quiet. Mandalore Gaming but, Mandalore Gaming Mandalore. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> The thing is, I, I start counting and I count 200 and he has not blinked yet. Oh, God. He's just staring at the ceiling, whispering. Oh, my God. <laughs> so go, Jamie, Jimmy, Jim, like, what are you talking about? And then he looks over at me and he goes, I'm not here. I'm the demon. Oh. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, no. And I'm like, oh, and I go, no. oh, okay. And I just go off to sleep. <laughs> and then the next day, what? You what fell asleep? Dude, how are you? Of course that? I did. Dude, that's him being like, ah, oh, the consequence of my actions don't matter. I'm the devil. Like, yeah, I'm just like, no, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, all right, good night, bro. You have to understand, when he's, <laughs> when he's clearly Holy not shit. not correct, I didn't take much stake in it. Right. I went, whatever. Oh, <laughs> Hold my on. fucking God. You and wake so we're up all and on, just everything's on fire. No. But there, <laughs> <laughs> you know, people always, people are always like, oh, you guys are like, PSD is so superstitious, always talking about witches and shit. And then Mandy lives through stuff like this. It's like, of course we believe in witches. Mandy's well, no. the character of the <laughs> darkness. I, dude, I'll be real. <laughs> this kid. Yeah, it's, the, uh, th- it's Jimmy from the darkness. I've experienced kids like this, like in middle school I've, especially. Yeah. yeah and but they not like this intense. And, 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 Honestly, so far, I, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd love to be proven wrong, but I'd be intrigued to know if I'm proven wrong soon. But, like, usually, the kids would just, like, act fucking weird to get attention. Yeah, it was like a, it was yeah like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's this, exactly this what sounds doing. like a kid desperately, like, trying to get attention by right. appearing fucked up, you know? Which is what we thought, cause, like, I was but a year or two older than him. He was maybe, I don't know. 14, 15 ish. He was in that range yeah. where it's like, oh, I've seen this before. Yeah, I mean, like, look, yeah. I'm thinking yeah. from experience. I was, I was bitches. That was me at the time too. <laughs> you were, <laughs> you were bitches. You were out there. You were out there fucking talking Latin. Yeah, um, my, my quirk talking was Latin, that I was just using I your just, shit for. I, I looked. I tried to act like the biggest dumbass on uh, possible so that I could get people to laugh, and it never worked. But like, <laughs> what changed? I had, a, I had a notebook that had a list of people that I wanted to kill in it when I was that Whoa. age. So. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Miss Murder. I remember you telling me about that. Yeah. yeah. Mine is just lame. Y'all have at least funny ones. Stick but yeah, figures no, that's, killing that's, each other, list of bullies. That's what this sounds like. I do not think this is supernatural. Well, it, it, it goes. Okay. I wake, we wake up at, Rev, at Revelry. Oh, no. You hear fucking Cap Revelry, which is like at 5 45 a.m., and they play these, okay. this loud ass trumpet through loudspeakers throughout the entire camp. I wake oh. up. Jimmy's missing. Mm. He's not next to me. And I come out and one of the 501st guys is um, walking over with like four of his goons behind him because they always move in fucking groups. And he goes, whichever one of you did that, you're going to be in fucking trouble even trashing our campsite and all this stuff. Do you like? <laughs> and we're like, why do they care about picking up sticks? And it's like, oh right, it's fucking 501st. But they had this big... Like we, it looked like someone tried to make like a Blair Witch looking like totem in their campsite, but it wasn't it wasn't oh. correct. <laughs> <laughs> so it, like, it looked like a pile of trash, but just had like weird leaves and shit impaled on it. Cool. And so, of course, we're like, I'm like, oh my god, Benny, I'm so tired of your oblivion bullshit. And he goes, that is not one of the pyres I made to my god. Like, you, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And so we're all pissed at him oh because we gosh. think he's the one doing it because <laughs> he doesn't stop talking about oblivion. And so as this day is going on, we find weird little like totems and shit around. And, and he's saying stuff like, I didn't make that for Mayroon's day gone. It wasn't me. <laughs> but he'd also say like, that one over there is mine. And so 
What the fuck? Dude, what I'll is I'll be real. That, that lends him more credence. <laughs> you know, like, I'd believe well, him then, after that. Like, clearly well, the he, thing wants, is, he the wants to is, tell you which ones are his work. What we realized is that Jimmy was trying to make, like, weird devil totems for attention, but we kept thinking they were weird fucking oblivion things that Benny was making because he had been making those already. <laughs> and Jimmy was getting really irritated by this, but he wasn't telling us that he did it. So he'd say things like, I feel a dark energy coming from this one. <laughs> it was not him. <laughs> and I'm like, no, Jimmy, You're this is so fucking him. Fucking <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. And so... We had two suspects, so the 501st was blaming another kid who we called the uh, the deodorizer, which was not even from our camp. We just encountered him sometimes. We called him the deodorizer because he was a very large child, and he the first time we saw him, he wandered between both ours and the 501st campsite without a shirt, applied deodorant directly under his man boobs, and then burped loudly. <laughs> So what he would just kind of like wander this? around. If you tried to burp, if you tried to talk to him, he'd just burp at you and then go ha, ha, and laugh and walk off. <laughs> okay. See, that's who Benny I've, summoned. I've, yeah, I never heard a word from the fucking deodorizer I've that wasn't never, a burp. I've never been in, this, in the fucking Boy Scout, so this is like living vicariously through you. And I don't know, man. This is fucking insanity. Boy Scouts is mainly really Jesus fucking boring. Christ. And then you have campouts where things just go fucking nuts. <laughs> But anyway, so they're shifting blame between either Benny or the deodorizer. (laughs) And as we're walk, and as we're walking back to camp, I think for doing merit badge classes, I we oh my god, yeah, we had the same one, which I think was um some sort of it wasn't wilderness survival. I can't remember the merit badge, but I remember when you're going back, he goes, "Hey, you want to learn about the demon?" I'm like, "Okay." And he goes, the demon is British and lives in a castle. Oh, no, stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. You can't say that. Oh you can't God. just say the demon is British. The demon is British. No, that's how he, that's oh how he opened God. it. I'm like, okay, what else? He goes, no he drives a nice Lamborghini. <laughs> me, when I, like, me when I talk about my dad. <laughs> he does it. <laughs> yeah, like, he said the demon was in his head, but the demon was also like living in Britain. But yeah, so he, I get this huge rundown on the uh, on the demon. In my head, I'm mentally taking notes because that's going to be like a fucking boss encounter in City of Heroes. <laughs> I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, like what's the demon's name? He goes, the demon has a dark name. Like, uh, what? What? Just tell me it. Demon. Go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Y- he hadn't crafted that bit of his identity yet. You yeah, he hadn't, he hadn't built out that yeah. more yet. Fucking, you're not, you're <laughs> not letting this guy create finish his OC. You're just well, I keep fe- asking I, fucking questions. He had this elaborate backstory prepared already, so I was like, oh, he surely has a name. <laughs> <laughs> Name's hard, as, a, as a DM, the name is always yeah, name. last. Yeah. Name's hard. But so um, <laughs> that night, we're all just like kind of fucking around around the campsite. We're, uh, we're just like oh. cooking stuff in the fire. Uh, quiet psychopath scoutmasters somewhere else. I think uh, Flanders mm. is, I don't know where Flanders is. And I remember looking at Jimmy and Jimmy's not talking to anybody. He's just staring really, really intently into the fire. <laughs> and one of the other kids walks up and is like, hey, Jimmy, did you see Benny's newest oblivion idol? Oh my and, God. and Jimmy looks up, he goes, we will all burn like this fire. And he goes like, okay, Jimmy, and just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> And then that night, I, I go to, Jimmy. um, yeah, I go to sleep. <laughs> well, I'm trying to sleep, pardon me. And I'm in the, uh, the cot and I start hearing the whispering again, but this time it's more audible. And I'm starting to hear, kill, kill. <laughs> and I look over at him and this time he's messing with his pocket knife. No. He's looking no. At him. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. No. It's oh like this. God. It's like a uh, Gerber tool one. So he's like flipping it in and out. Has all these tools in it. Yeah. He's going cow, cow. Like, hey, Jimmy, Kill what's happening over there? <laughs> he's going. The demon is getting stronger with every day. I might not be able to stop his powers by the time camp is over. Oh my God. And at this time, I'm more concerned because he has a knife, and now I'm like alone with him at fucking night. I'm like, okay, this is fucking weird. And I sleep very lightly. The next day, wake up. He's already gone. There's now what looks like 
I don't even know how to describe it. It's it's like when it's like someone trying to make a crop circle in the fucking dirt by just dragging <laughs> their foot all over the place. Oh, I did that shit. Yeah. And so there's weird like symbol shit all over our campsite and halfway on 501st because their scoutmaster is already screaming at them to sweep it up, <laughs> blaming it on them. So I don't even know what was drawn. And then come to find out, we all start getting on Benny again. And he goes, it wasn't me. I sleep in my bare feet. It attracts the ducks. <laughs> and we Whoa, all what, what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? He had been um he had been stomping his feet in catfish bait to try and attract ducks. Catfish bait smells terrible, by the way. But yeah, what, what? does it smells like so awful? Yeah, and so we oh, see God, his geez. fucking horrendous feet. And we're like, oh, but then we look at the like the marks on the ground. I'm like, oh, this is you could kind of see like a shoe pattern in some of them. And so we we pulled a fucking glass slipper with one of Benny's shoes, and we're like, oh, these feet are bigger than Benny's. And like he I I believe he has not worn shoes for the past few days. (laughs) So who's fucking doing this? And then Jimmy's like, It is a warning. The demon will awaken soon. Oh my god. Oh, God. Oh my god. And it's like, oh, okay, this is uh fucking Jimmy's been doing this. What is it culminating in? And so, same story, walking back again that night. Like, so, Jimmy, uh, what's this demon thing? What's this going to be about? He goes, I'll show you in the journal when we get back. And so, he hands you the journal. I'm like, what? well, what page is it? It's on every page, the story. <laughs> and the story was mostly intelligible. Like, I, I, I <laughs> it, was, it was not legible. I couldn't tell what it was. The I can make story. out the stabbings. There was the giant corpse pile, which had been there for like fucking months already. It was all the same shit. There were some new pages. and Those were the alarming ones. Mm. Those are the ones showing stick figures like stabbed in their beds. <gasps> oh. 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 And I was like, this is kind of weird. Like- and he's like, he's like, don't worry. I have the demon contained. He is <laughs> Wasn't too busy. He-, <laughs> he literally said the demon was about to be uncontained. <laughs> Well, now it's contained, and I asked him why, and he goes, because the demon's a movie star, and he has to film tonight. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Oh, my Dude, God. Dude, you gotta get your fucking, fucking rock. story straight, buddy. This Jimmy. is the weirdest OC I've ever heard of. Like, Jimmy, holy shit. Yeah. Like, but then oh, that night, man. he's too busy hear- filming American Beauty. Dude, I would not want to. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> know if I could sleep with him after that shit. This is where it changes, because that night, I hear some, I hear like, oh, no. uh, like the creaking sound of someone getting up, and I look. He's now sitting on the edge of his bed with his knife out, whispering no. to himself, and now he's staring at me. No. And I, I look mean, over I, again, and I'm like, hey, Jimmy, what's going on tonight? He's like, I'm not sure, but I think it's getting stronger. <laughs> I barely sleep that night. I do not sleep until he does. Oh, my God. Thankfully, this is the um, Wednesday was like a parent's day or something. Since like there would be younger scouts there, and that's when parents show up. Oh my god! Yeah. Parents and so thankfully, like worried. His dad, his mom, pardon me, shows up. My dad shows up. A few of the other parents like show up because my dad fucking loves the scouts. He's just what they're to fucking fuck with people because he's a prankster. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, dad, there's something really fucking strange going on with Jimmy. And he's like, oh, Jimmy. Of course, there's something strange going on with Jimmy. You know, he's not right. I'm like, no, dad, <laughs> this, is, this is different. <laughs> and so I'm like, there's something really weird about him. Like he's talking to the devil and stuff. And he's like, oh, he's been doing that for months. You know, he's just trying to get attention because he's weird. I'm like, I, I know, but this, this is like different. And so I now realize the fucking predicament I'm in is that like, he's being really, really fucking strange, but that's expected of him. <laughs> That's just how he's been. <laughs> I mean, obviously, as a child, you don't like it's harder to like rationalize what would get people's attention. But did you not think yeah. to like mention the whole knife part? See, that's I did. I was like, he's like messing with his pocket knife. And he's like, that was the one part where he's kind of like, mm, that's a little weird. He's like, I'll talk to his mom about it. And so <sighs> he talks to his mom and his mom talks to him. And they have a little meeting with me, my dad and his mom. Oh God. And they're like, yeah, so, um, it's like, what exactly has he been saying to you? And I gave him the, the vague parts of the demon I could remember. And she's like, yeah, I'll be honest. When I was talking to him, 
He seems different than when he usually is at oh, home. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, I'm like, yeah, that's strange. No, 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 no. And then that night <laughs> in the campsite, oh, one of the kids fucking screams, and we what? all run over. And he's like, "Someone pranked me! Someone pranked me!" And there is a dead fucking copperhead snake on top of his. Oh my oh, god! What the on fuck? top of his sleeping bag. That's not a. Prank. Oh my god! <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so we're just oh, like Jesus. What we found out later was that um, this had been in one. Of, it turned out that Jimmy had not killed this animal himself. One of the um, one of like the merit badge class leaders had killed it, and was just like showing it to people like in the class, like look what I killed in this bucket. And Jimmy had then grabbed that snake and taken it with him. Like from the class. So he didn't kill this animal by himself. We found this out later though. Because right. they're like, oh Dude, but at, so the, at the time yeah, it's on the oh, spot. On the spot on this, you're just yeah. like, oh my god, this kid is just killing animals now. <laughs> yeah. I'm working my way up. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So we find this dead snake and we're all looking at each other. The parents like, who did this? Blah, blah, blah. And then Jimmy goes, the time of the serpent is here. Oh the demon's god. power will be awakened oh soon. The time oh my of the serpent. Oh and my so god. his mom tears his ass out yelling at him. But the thing is, he usually gets upset if you like you would yell at him. Instead, he? he has no fucking expression on his face. Oh my And he's just staring her down. And she's like, You're gonna be in so much trouble. And he goes, Well, where my powers are at now. You can't really stop me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my oh god. My god dude. It's worth no. mentioning that um Jimmy's the kind of slow where he has the strength to go with it. Oh no. The, what do you what do you mean? What do you mean? His, <laughs> his if his mom got physical with him, he would win. And Jesus. so this became a situation where um not my someone else's dad and her eventually had to drive him out of camp. But they they tempted him with the promise of they were going to Wendy's, which worked wonders. <laughs> oh, uh, demon hungers! <laughs> yeah, for a baconator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the demon was also a, a big fan of the um, the Dave's double, apparently. But when I got the details, we like it after a shake. <laughs> He was not back the rest of no, the camp, he, which had its own Cameron, fucking... he will get a milkshake. No one could stop him from getting a milkshake. <laughs> it's a frosty, one actually. Thing, one yeah, thing's a frosty yeah. is demon's thirst. A milkshake from Wendy's. This is a different yeah, moment. They had read through his journal, and I had not seen the latest entry, which was the one where he was... Um, going to fucking stab me to death that night and then go through tent by tent and do it. Oh, oh Jesus. Yo, god it, damn. It turned out the reason for this was that I just happened to be the one who was closest because he was just going to go through like, well, he had it written down. He was just going to do it by proximity, basically. And I learned later after coming back and talking with my parents and stuff since oh we just didn't see him again for camp. Fucking god. And my dad's like, yeah, so, um, his mom was terrified driving him off because he said she said that he was just staring at her through the rearview mirror the entire drive. What and the so, fuck? So yeah, we they took him to like a mental hospital or something, got him checked out. It turns out he um he was very deep into schizophrenia. He's schizophrenic. Holy shit! Jesus Holy Christ. shit! Oh my god! Oh, he could have acted That's on it. Oh so fuck! Yeah. Which is why I said that, oh, he was going through puberty because, like, that kind of stuff doesn't, you know, sometimes it won't manifest around that age. Oh, my so, God. Like, it's not a thing you think is, like, possible. Yeah. And again, this was diagnosing him with schizophrenia back then. Who knows what it would be now? But mm. he had a bad, bad kind of mental illness. Holy shit. But it was, it had been developing That's long enough on its horrifying. own because he was already just kind of weird and slow. And everyone would discredit so when he, him anytime he tried to get attention. Yeah. Because he's talking about like voices and de and like how the voices are talking to him, but yeah, like th that sounds because of his 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 slow brain interprets it as like oh I hear I do hear voices, but it's a British millionaire who's a movie star. Yeah, it's it's uh, oh it sounds like he manifested mental illness to some degree. And, and I don't fucking and know. Like, no, I no, mean, okay, armchair well, psychology. Let's, let's not. Let's not. Whatever. Let's not. 
No, I mean, I, like, I, I'm, I, I'm exaggerating here, but what what I do believe is that it probably has something to do with like the amount of fucking like just people rejecting it. You know, it's like it, the, the the dude would go to further and further extremes to like get that attention. <laughs> I have no That's clue. So, I don't know, it's it's horrifying. Like a, it's, it sounded like a choice to me. <laughs> I have oh my no idea. God. Oh my whatever, God. whatever it was, I had no fucking clue. Even then, I didn't know what to make of it then. I still don't know what to make well, of it. But it was, well, oh, he had something cases, going on. In he got cases, a new thing going on, oh but no. no one knew, like, no one saw any sort of warning signs, like, oh, new, my yeah. child is now suddenly acting strange. He had a new groove. Yeah. I mean, the the thing is, like, with uh, people that have schizophrenia, usually they're the victims about 99% of the time so it's a, it's really sad but oh my god man yeah i mean again this you was getting fucking... diagnosed with schizophrenia like god, a decade man. ago in a yeah and like the nearest mental facility to like a mountain campsite <laughs> oh, but they're like oh yeah like he's he's not well at all and it's very good you brought him here because he was on the cusp of having some kind of meltdown Oh my fucking god, that's so fucking scary. Yeah, and we had no Dude. clue because he'd be acting Holy semi-normally shit. during the day, but like when the sun went down, like he'd still say the weird shit during the day, but then like <laughs> when it when it got dark Holy out, fuck. something it different got, was going on. When in it there. when it got dark out, it also went dark in May, something that's like what that. He, I mean that just sounds like something he <laughs> that's would what say. He, <laughs> the only god thing that damn. would subdue is hunger. <laughs> yeah, oh big double God. baconator with cheese. <laughs> that was God, just like horrifying. one of the things Don't that happened that week too. Jesus, oh, like ultimately man. scout camp shit just continued and more wacky shit happened. But it was just like, oh yeah, midweek. Remember when? Remember when Jimmy and the demon got fucking exercised out to the Wendy's and are not with us anymore? <laughs> oh my fucking God! Patreon questions. <laughs> <laughs>